We're back with Peter Heiser at the Dragon Power Gym in Cape Town. Today, this USN ambassador, PGA qualified golf professional, and competitive fitness model shares some great tips on how to build lean muscle fast. Peter, guys are all about muscle. It's what we like, it's what we want. Now in general, what's the best way to go about proper muscle gain? Well basically it comes down to you've got to be feeding the muscle. You've got to overload the muscle. So you've got to be doing weight training. Now I'm a big believer in weight training for gaining muscle. Obviously trying to lift heavy weights with good form. Your compound movements, which would be things like bench pressing, squatting, military pressing, pull-ups, those kind of things where you're actually activating a lot more muscle fiber, more muscle groups. So that would be a good solid foundation to have those exercises and then obviously adding in a few more exercises just to help stimulate the muscle. As a competitive fitness model, Peter lifts as heavy as he can without sacrificing form. He stresses the importance of benching within the region of your body weight and taking 30 second breaks between sets to keep the intensity high with regular sips of water to stay hydrated. So let's take a pull-up for example. What's the proper way to go about doing it? Okay, well what's important is with a pull-up we're focusing on width in your back to get that V-tape. I know all guys want that V-tape because that's what obviously going to give you that powerful look. So it's important that you have a wide grip on the pull-up. So you obviously got to let your body go all the way down and then pull yourself all the way up until the chin is level with the bar so that you can get a full stretch of the lats. So basically to sum it up you need a full range of motion and also proper form. Yes, full range of motion is key to stimulating the whole muscle group. It's also essential to eat enough. For any training routine to be effective, you have to give your body the food it needs for optimal recovery, otherwise you're limiting the results. Without enough calories, you will not grow any muscle during recovery. Let's talk a bit about the recovery process within the muscle. How exactly does that work? Well, from weight training or any physical activity, your glycogen stores in your muscles are depleted. So it's important to replace those glycogen stores with a, a good source of carbohydrates just to help your muscles fill out and it's just going to help them recover. So it's basically you stress the muscle fiber during training, now you've got to feed the muscle so that it can recover. So your muscles doesn't actually grow during a workout? No, it's, it's all about afterwards, post-workout nutrition and rest. That's when the muscle is growing. What are some of the products that you would recommend for proper recovery? I recommend glutamine. I use it three times a day. I take five grams before my workout, five grams after my workout, and then another five grams before bed. What it basically does is going to prevent that soreness and muscle fatigue, and it's just going to help with the muscle recovery and also gives you a nice, strong immune system. Post-workouts, I would take a, a fast digesting protein, something like USN's 100% whey protein is a great product because it digests straight away into your, your bloodstream, so it's just going to help you with muscle recovery and prevent muscle soreness later on. Peter's bulk does not hinder his performance on the fairways. The secret is a full body stretching routine to keep all the muscles healthy and prevent stiffness. Balanced training also allows muscles to grow quickly, avoiding injuries and preserving flexibility. Now, I know a lot of guys have this issue about eating before training. What's your take on that? I try and avoid eating because you don't want to have a full stomach when you're training. You want your energy to be focused on your muscles where you want it. You don't want your energy being focused on digesting that food that's in your stomach. So I would rather recommend a pre-workout drink, something like USN Fuel 25 would be a good pre-workout drink. I would say about not closer than an hour before your workout, just so that you've got a nice good energy source and obviously while you're training, your muscles will be performing at their peak and recovering at the same time. And is this what you use yourself? Yes, I do. Peter believes that the first step to success is defining your fitness goals. Find a choice of free exercise plans for both men and women at usn.co.za. Visualize the desired outcome and work with determination and you'll soon enjoy the results. Now, a term that we hear often is you need to keep your body in an anabolic state. Now, first up, what is anabolic? Well, anabolic means is that your body is growing, the muscles are growing. So you want to keep your body in an anabolic state throughout the day because, I mean, the main goal, the guys want to build muscle. So you've got to feed your body with protein so that it can be in an anabolic state with your healthy fats, which you get obviously from your nuts and and avocado from your natural foods. And what are some of the products that you can include in your diet to make sure that you stay in an anabolic state? HGH is a great product to use. Uh, I use it myself, it's really a, a great product. What it does is it increases your body's natural production of human growth hormone. So it's gonna just help your muscles recover and use up that excess fat as an energy source and it obviously improves your sleep patterns. Tune in again tomorrow as we chat to Peter about the types of training he does to improve his game. In the meantime, visit usn.coza and join the USNSA page on Facebook for tips, advice and assistance with achieving your fitness goals.